Welcome all to the day that marks the end of this month-long party. It really has been a fantastic exhibition of football, all things good in the game, the beautiful game. A story that has been four years in the making, so many unforgettable moments and memories, but this is it. This is the moment when we get to see who will be crowned Kings of Europe for the next four years. the ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Belgium. No question, this is huge. You are amongst hundreds of millions viewing the greatest event of the summer, no doubt. Well, Peter, there's already a special feel about this atmosphere thanks to the, the potential that could unfold. A, a real anticipation of something truly memorable. And if these two teams do hit it off, we may have a summer sensation. Whatever happens, we're in for an intriguing ride. Final gets on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and, and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Looks to thread it through. And he has been fouled there. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Morata. That's a decent ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Alderweireld, Tielemans, and it's Carrasco, and helps available out wide. Now it's Hazard, Hazard, De Bruyne, Suso tries to get it forward quickly. Nacho. Done very well to intervene. Torgan Azar. Now it's Carrasco. Some good work on the right flank. Now what's next? Carrasco goes for the cross. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. Ferreira Carrasco really is providing a, a very good outlet there and his contributions I think are going to be key. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Looking to break out here. De Bruyne. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals and... Uh, Excitement, forget it. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And it's been taken straight back. Carrasco. Suso. Oh, they could break here. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's played forward. 
And it's Carrasco. Torkanasa. It's a loose ball. He's left his man. And the shot! Goal! Bolton! Could that be the start of something big? That is some volley. Great technique. I'll tell you, Peter, more went into that than you think. He had to anticipate the cross, get in the right position, and then time the volley. Belgium have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. And here's Morata. Morata spreads it towards the left. Suso. And here's... Has a pop! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Finds himself eased off the ball. Now it's Morata. Then Donka. And it's Carrasco. Talking Azar. Thiago. Suso. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And here's Thiago. Thiago! Oh, denied brilliantly. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Sergio Ramos gets it back. Torgan Azar tries to dink it in. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Ceballos plays it out to the wing. Aldevera positions himself well and cuts it out. De Bruyne. Now it's Hazard. And it's Suso. Morata. There's the whistle, the first half of the final has flown by. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now.
So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? First things first now, and they must give themselves a platform to help generate some momentum if they're going to find a route back. Already up and running for the second half. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Morata gets flagged offside. Suso, Morata, Suso, Morata, look at the goal! Carrasco goes looking, Sergio Ramos, oh no, that's not the ball he wanted. Oh, good interception. A real chance to break. And here's Suso. He could be in here. The Dunker drives it forward. He's come loose. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tielemans. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Spain are now matching their opponents blow for blow, despite the scoreline. No shrinking violets out there. And the counter is on, now then! Then Donka. And here's Suso. Spain are definitely going about this the right way. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. That's great strength on the ball. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Forward it goes. He's pinged one through here. And it's Morata. Dashing forward at pace. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Now can... It's Mertens! Hazard. Can he find a finish now? Belgium are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Hoists sit forward, company as well to read it and intercepts. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honour shift. Belgium are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. 
And here's Morata. Suso. He's had a shot. There's a goal. Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got the level. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top-notch. Spain grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, extra time looms now, but that leveller creates great impetus and they've got to fancy their chances of pinching victory from what looked like the jaws of defeat. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. changes then in quick succession so we have a breakthrough now how will things develop from here no doubt as to who has the momentum here now the only doubt is how many is coming and here's Morata yeah it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now And here's Mertens. De Bruyne switches it towards the other side. Gets a good foot in there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Has a hit! Yes, it's in! They have stolen level at the last! When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So, all square, with almost no time remaining. Thiago. Thiago plays it forward. Thiago. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. That's a good ball to find him. Forward it goes. Oh, he's been flattened there. Nothing to separate them. We have extra time. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So a brief breather, and then extra time. The whistle goes, we're off and running. 
they pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here? Well, the consequences are still more serious. Caballos. And here's Borata. Out to the left it goes. Suso. Drives it in. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Now it's Azar, and now they can launch a counter. And it's played forward. And they've been... There's the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Sergio Ramos tries to get it forward quickly. Caballos. Witzel plays it out to the flank. Torgan Azar drives it forward. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. It's a chance for Spain to break. Suso. Belgium get it back again. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not only less competitive. And we're up and running. So time for a bit of smash and grab. Torgan Azar provides an outlet. Here's a corner. Away from immediate danger. Forward it goes. De Bruyne! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Belgium have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Respilicueta. And here's Rodrigo, Suso, Rodrigo, has a hit! Oh, he's managed to miss it. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead there. Hoists it forward, put offside that time. Witzel. Witzel has been caught there, it's a foul.
but it's Mertens. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Has gone out. Here it comes. Gets the better of his man. Oh, real danger here. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And that's it. Nothing between them. It is penalties. I can only applaud the sheer doggedness and tenacity on show in watching both teams refusing to lose. I mean, they both ran their socks off. Pressure and nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. So, the final act of the final. So, the first penalty. And the keeper's come up, Trumps. I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. And so the captain steps up. Well, he's filled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Spain looking to draw level. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Spain trailing by one. No, it's been saved! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. This to double their advantage. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Spain in search of parity. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. De Bruyne is the fourth man to step forward for them. That's a tame penalty, straight at the keeper. Well, he's put that straight at the keeper, it's simply not good enough. Isco with the last of the first five penalties. Great stop, keeper's denied him. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. De Gea must keep this out. This is match point. Oh, he saved it! He was so focused there. Fantastic save. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. Oh, he saved it! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. De Gea must save it. Oh, brilliant! He had to save it, and he did! I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. As Pliqueta is next to go in sudden death.
keeper's read that beautifully. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. So the ball is placed on the spot. De Gea obliged to stop this to keep them alive. And that has lifted the roof. The dream is over, the prize has gone away. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere. So much endeavour, so much expectation, so little ultimate reward. Yeah, Peter, I've been in this position and it's a horrible part of the game to get so close to a trophy and have it snatched away. I can tell you the disappointment will ease, but the memory has to drive you.